Hello everybody, this is Camilla again. This will be a quick video on how to work parallel to a previously translated text. And as you can see, we have a few videos already or a handful of videos on our Translation Aids YouTube channel. Please check on it regularly. You can even subscribe if you want to. We have one at the moment and uh, that way you will automatically be updated as soon as a new video rolls in. Okay, this, as I said, this will be a quick video and I will open a video. Sorry, not open a video. I will open text and I'll open number 19. Okay, in video number three, I had shown you how to convert, how to transform these strange characters that do not belong to the Finnish language. And it could be any language that you're opening a text file to and it may have strange characters that do not belong to the Finnish to that language and you can easily convert them. That is um, spoken of and, and covered in video number three. So I will skip that. As you notice, I'm going to do that once more just for the sake of it. Look at my encoding. It is set to 1252. But when I open this file, look what happens to that. I, there's a lot of people that don't realize this. Look at that. Ta -da, it changed to UTF. Why? It's because the translator who did this text had it set on UTF. -t. So always please be observant and change it to the encoding that your country uses. For Sweden, when we're translating into the Swedish language, we need it set to 1252. And that is not enough. You actually need to save it. In other words, I need to overwrite this file. Save. Now it's been overwritten and saved. And now to split the text so that you can work parallel to the Finnish language, which I can't read, but we can pretend that I can. We go to Tools and then we move the cursor down to Make New Empty Translation from Current Subtitle. Click on that once and look, voila! it appears as is and we make sure that you're always selecting the correct line that you will be translating so don't let it be down here and think you're translating the first line um, so cl click on the applicable line and here i will write the old in fact um, i can just do it in capitals the old testament like that and then click on the next line and translate that and so on and so on and so on and make sure that you save it so you're actually overwriting another thing uh, sorry about that file save uh, okay here when you're working with um, text that it is to be translated into Swedish then you need the dash SE on the end, which I've uh, mentioned in another video. But always double check for your own country. It could be another suffix. But for Sweden, you add a dash and SE to the end. And then you click save. And then it will ask you if you want to replace it. Yes, because if you don't, it's not going to save your work. Okay, another thing that you really need to double check on is that after you have translated everything here that does not necessarily mean that um, the timing is correct just because it may be very well correct for the Finnish language this is Finnish here well with the strange characters which don't belong to the language but it may not necessarily be timed well for the Swedish language because don't forget that in for instance uh, Finnish Ramatun narrativisten osien okay i can't read finish very well um but uh, that's very they're very long words in swedish they could be a lot shorter so bear in mind that even though they may have needed to extend the timing just fractionally in order to give the the viewer sufficient time to read that text it may very well mean that you may even need to shorten this text 
the duration now is 5.8 seconds, you may need to shorten it. So what you do is duration, you go down here and you minimize it, but you don't do that straight away. You do that when you are watching the video. So after you've translated it all, then you load the video by opening video file, but you check, you click on these icons and you open video file. Now I haven't loaded video number 19, but just for the point of showing you, okay, bear in mind, I know that I'm loading the incorrect video here, but you, um, you play it along and check that your translated text is in sync with what's happening on the screen. That's it. I hope that is uh, helpful for you and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.